The only thing better than a paper circuit is a paper circuit that pops up. In this video, I'll show you two different methods for building a light-up pop-up structure called a floating plane. To get started, you'll need the following tools and supplies. You'll need LED stickers in a color of your choice, conductive fabric tape, a 3-volt coin cell battery with a battery template or a folded piece of cardstock, double-sided tape, an adhesive of your choice, a ruler, scissors, pencil, pen knife, and an embossing tool or bone folder. A chibi stencil is helpful, but optional. For a full list of supplies and access to free downloadable support materials, including templates and circuit diagrams, visit the description below. A floating plane is useful for creating large pop-up shapes that appear to float upon a flat plane that rests upon three parallel supports. The first model that I'll show you builds the circuit right on top of the base card. To make it easier to follow along, print out the template for a circuit diagram with no slot. I've already cut and scored my pieces. Start by gluing down the support with the narrowest tabs. Make sure you keep the piece parallel with the crease. I'm using a craft glue, but there are drier adhesives that are best for archival work. The best way to add on the other supports is by lining their top edges together first. This method of gluing is more precise than one that I show later. With the edges aligned and the pieces completely parallel, fold in the supports one at a time to add glue to the remaining tabs. They'll find their natural positions as the card is closed. Wait for the glue to set a bit before opening the card. Then, if you've done everything correctly and everything is aligned and parallel, the pop should be completely flat. Next, we're going to be adding a paper battery holder. You can use the one on the template, a folded piece of cardstock, or a battery holder sold in one of our kits. If you use a folded piece of cardstock, a chibi stencil is a helpful way to mark the locations for the positive and negative leads. For my project, I carved my own stamp, featuring my favorite summer dessert. A digital copy is available in the downloads, or you can create your own shape. I've already cut out holes where I want the LEDs to go. To make it easier to build the circuit without needing to cut a slot into the circuit layer, Trim the circuit layer just shy of an inch from the crease. Then glue it down to the top of the plane and press the card closed. The next step is to start building your circuit. While it's not necessary to use a stencil to mark the location of your LEDs, if you do end up using one, it's easier to do this before you glue the circuit layer on. Next, I'm using conductive fabric tape to build my circuit. Conductive fabric tape works very well on hinged areas. It doesn't crack like copper tape can. I'm using a continuous piece, but it's not necessary. You can also overlap smaller pieces. While building your circuit, it's important to remember that the negative and the positive lead should never touch one another.
Here I'm using a ball of conductive fabric tape to secure my battery in the holder. And then I'm adhering the LED stickers with the broad ends touching the positive lead and the narrower ends touching the negative lead. I'm adding a scrap of vellum behind the holes of my artwork to help diffuse the light. Attach your artwork to the flat plane. I used Velcro dots for demo purposes, but glue or double-sided tape work well. At this point, you can use artwork of your choice to disguise the circuit. The next model I show does a better job of hiding the circuit, but it requires a few extra steps. Model 2 is a bit more complex because the circuit is going to be threaded through a slot on the base card which connects with the battery on a backing card. The first step is to attach the backing card using a piece of double-sided tape. Like Model 1, glue the support piece with the narrow tabs to the center of the base card. Before securing the second tab, make sure that the piece is completely parallel. Then close down the card, press it with a bone folder, and then open it up. Like last time, we'll be gluing down the remaining supports keeping the creases parallel with the card's central fold. I'm using a different method of gluing than I used in Model 1. It may be easier to understand, but it can be less reliable than the first one I showed. If you struggle to achieve a flat plane, use the other method. In this model, the circuit will be threaded through a slot. If your art piece will have LEDs on both sides of the crease in your flying plane, you can cut a slot into it to build your circuit on the larger surface. You'd have to bring your conductive traces through the slot. Since all of the LEDs in this demo will be above the crease in the flying plane, I'm trimming it down so I don't have to do the extra step of bringing those traces through the slot. This time, I'm gonna use a stencil to mark the location of the LEDs and start laying down my conductive tape traces before I glue down the circuit layer. This time, I'm applying Rainbow Fade Animating LEDs. Like last time, glue down the circuit layer to the top of the flying plane supports. This time, center the conductive traces over the slot and thread them through. Wait until they're through the slot to remove the protective backing. Use the circuit diagram as a guide and keep the conductive traces parallel so that the positive and negative do not touch. This time I'm using a battery holder template from one of our kits. Once 
When overlapping two pieces of conductive fabric tape, it's a good idea to press down the joints with a bone folder. This time, I'm using a foam ring from one of our kits to hold my battery in place. I've left the adhesive backing on the top of the ring. Lastly, I'm adding vellum to diffuse the light and then some ice cream cone artwork to finish off my project. I hope this tutorial will help you build your own light up pop up flying plane project. Thanks for watching. To learn more, visit chibitronics.com.